As a close combat weapon, the shotgun has been widely used by regular armies to clear trenches during World War I, and it was also used by paratroopers in airborne operations on the island of Sicily during World War II. However, for a long time, shotguns had low ammunition capacity and firing rate due to structural issues. After World War II, many designers began to incorporate some concepts of automatic rifles into shotguns to create more efficient shotguns, and the AA-12 is one of the outstanding examples. The development of the AA-12 began in the 1970s, when firearms designer Maxwell McChesney completed the initial work. However, he did not finalize the firearm, but instead incorporated many new concepts into it, making this shotgun look very different. In 1987, the Constabulary Systems Company purchased the patent and blueprints of the AA-12 from the perennially unsuccessful McChesney, attempting to commercialize it and create a legendary weapon. However, after obtaining the blueprints, the Constabulary Systems Company realized that it was not what they expected. McChesney's design had many flaws. The company spent 18 years intermittently making 188 modifications before finally finalizing the product. In 2004, the AA-12 was introduced under its original name, but it was abbreviated as Auto Assault 12, meaning Automatic Assault 12. Although the process was a bit tortuous, the AA-12 was worth the effort. The firearm adopted the structural style of an assault rifle and could be fed with a 10-round magazine or a 20-round or 32-round drum magazine. Unlike traditional pump-action shotguns, the AA-12 used a long-stroke piston principle and was an automatic shotgun. The firearm can use most 12-gauge ammunition, including birdshot, buckshot, and slugs. In addition, it can also fire Frag-12 grenades, mini armor-piercing rounds, and other types of ammunition. With a wide range of ammunition, it is suitable for various combat environments. Although the AA-12 went through twists and turns before being finalized, the advantage of a long development process is that many mature technologies can be incorporated into it. For example, the firearm is largely made of composite materials, reducing its overall weight to only 4.76 kilograms when empty. Its abundant ammunition also expands its combat capabilities. The mini grenades have a range of 200 meters and a kill radius of 2 meters, while the armor-piercing rounds can penetrate approximately half an inch of armor. With a firing rate of 300 rounds per minute and a gentle recoil, a strong shooter can even fire it with one hand. Just imagine... When this firearm is equipped with a 32-round drum magazine filled with grenades, it becomes an absolute close combat weapon. Since its finalization, the AA-12 has not made a breakthrough in the military market, law enforcement market, or civilian market for various reasons. First, let's talk about the military field. The U.S. military has also come into contact with the AA-12, but after testing, they did not have a favorable impression of this type of weapon with overwhelming firepower. This does not mean that the AA-12 is not good, but the overall quality of the U.S. military is high, and they prioritize accurate shooting in overseas operations. Soldiers not only carry ammunition, but also carry a large amount of combat equipment. The ammunition of the AA-12 is not light and is large in size. The firepower of overwhelming attacks will quickly lose its combat effectiveness, which does not meet the requirements of U.S. soldiers. In terms of law enforcement, police generally deal with common criminals, and a regular submachine gun or pump-action shotgun is already sufficient. The AA-12 clearly has excessive firepower. In special police forces, they also require precise shooting for operations such as hostage rescues, so law enforcement agencies are not interested in the AA-12. As for the civilian market, no country would allow such a violent weapon like the AA-12 to be available. Otherwise, in a country like the United States where there are so many shooting incidents every year, if shooters use the AA-12, the number of casualties would at least double. Of course, the AA-12 is not without its flaws. The biggest problem is its ammunition. Although it can use a variety of ammunition types, there is no time to change the drum magazine and load suitable ammunition during combat. 
it can only fire whatever bullets are in the drum magazine. Overall, the AA-12 automatic shotgun is quite good and is a decent close combat weapon. Perhaps in the future it will find its place in some special fields.